What is up, guys? Kevin the Brony Fan here, and welcome back to Brony Talk. Now, I am joined once again by. What are you doing? Doing Brony Talk? I just started. Come on in. Oh, oh, good. That's great. I have a topic that you might not be so keen. Which one? It has to do with Pinkie Pie. Oh! Anything with Pinkie Pie is actually pretty good. It's a well-rounded character. Yeah, he sucks. Why must you do this to me? It's needed to be said for a long time since the episode came out. You sure? Come on. But it's her worst episode. Probably, well, one of the worst episodes with her in it. Well, let's get straight into this. You pinky pie, you know her, you love her. <laughs> no, Just no, I don't. But I can tell a good character. I can tell character creation when I see it. Like you get this happy, lovable, fun character who's kind of the comic relief and. Everything else, kind of the more, the lighter side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, how do we start? Well, first, let's start with the beginning. We always have to. It's always a thing. And this is unedited, mind you, so if we screw up, we screw up, and it's going to be fun. But we are going to make some cuts, not like, like screw up cuts, just... Cuts because you can't edit, no. Okay. Back on the topic. So, I mentioned Pinkie Pie in the beginning here. So, let's. What's going on right now? Well, in Yankee Sack, she's playing a a mix with a bagpipe and a saxophone. A, a vidi. I call it a yaxophone because that's kind of. Oh, you're funny. Your videophone. Yeah, I know. I've got some of this written down here on a. Yeah, but anyways. She's playing the Yavidophone, which, and she's not very good at it. No, she's horrible. Downright, absolute garble. And she's playing it pretty much everywhere. Yeah, she's, she's playing it because she enjoys playing it. That's not to say everyone else enjoys it. No. Apparently, she's got, she does so bad that it starts affecting all the other ponies' work. Which I, I can understand if it's like a base cannon or like a base cannon would really go with base cannon what vinyl lover anyways okay so she plays it a lot and eventually some people are going I love the fact that Twilight want, at first wants to use a magic spell to kind of go like look we'll shut her up we'll, we'll keep her away just put her away but it's weird okay they reference, uh, what is it? The episode where Celestia sings really bad, but, uh, Twilight has to be brutally honest with her about how bad she sings. Yeah, it's basically that episode, but replace, replace but Celestia with, with, with Pinkie, Pinkie Pie. Pie. <laughs> yes. Now, I, for one, begin think this episode's bad for the first reason that's coming up. Number one, they are brutally honest with her, and tell her about this, which is okay. And then Pinky goes, oh, okay, I understand. Thro chucks the freaking video phone away. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, nothing else said, nothing bad. Um, that's when we start to get into... Well, it just, it, and then at the end of the night, you're going like, you see it being taken away. And uh, she's obviously distraught about this. Personally speaking about that, I honestly think that one of the big things that could have been said is that Pinkie Pie should have came out forward with her feelings. And then you could have had a fun little episode where, where you need to come face to face with going like, yeah, maybe I'm not good at it, but... I still enjoy it. Yeah, so maybe I should be able to. But that's not what they do. No. What do they do? They try a pink amino route. 
She goes full on depressed. Yeah, deep depression. This is treat that episode where the evil, the mean six, I can't believe I said that, go are going to help Chrysalis take the tree. I don't get it. It really... I. Mm. But whatever. That's not the episode we're ranting about. No, no. The one... So she starts getting upset. And they're going like, well, crap. I guess we should have kind of been a little nicer about it. Uh, so they try and make her feel better. Yes, they... try they, all the things that they thought would make her happy. Yeah, uh, including showing her all the things that she's good at. Making her cupcakes, making her try and smile. Uh, using party cannons. Uh, all that, which... The thing. Even a Pinkie Pie Appreciation Day. Which... Does not work. Yeah. None of it works. Okay. Personally speaking, if you're that level depressed, you need to get help. And and, and, and instead of getting help, what does she do? She goes up to Yak Yak Stan. She doesn't just go off to Yak Yakistan. She full on leaves Ponyville and moves to Yak Yakistan. Everything, yeah, yeah everyone, uh, there's no one there. She, isn't it, Mod's cleaning up her place and just goes like something along the lines of, she moved to Yak Yakistan. And at first they don't really believe it. Uh, I, I, I think it's more along the lines of they're shocked. Yeah. And then they go like, okay. We need to go and see what's up at Yak Yakistan. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, one of the pro. Now, if we're gonna have another problem here, I'm going. Okay, this is obviously not working. You guys should pretty much, you know, hey, she took got enjoyment out of that. You may. I. I don't care if you're bad at something. If you have fun with it, go ahead. I'm a terrible artist. But you still do it anyways. Yeah, I draw. I doodle. And the main focus is don't let criticism keep you from doing something that you really enjoy. Which is a great message. But... That's not the case. So we're in Yakyakistan. She's still in a depressive state. Uh, and they found the... Apparently there's good... Viv- I'll never get that freaking... Yovita phone playing. And there they find Twi- uh, Pinky. 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 Yes! Adam, there's pony names. Uh, yeah, and so she's sitting there drowning her sorrows in ice cream. I Which, think, if you don't know what that's... Yeah, I think there's a point where she's sitting at the, bo- the ice cream bar and... Uh, Go asking why the guy, and he's asked her why he sit. She's sitting there to the listening to the thing, and uh, it's like she goes like, "I hate it because I still like it." Okay, so they they get her and talk to her, going and like, "Look, why don't you come home?" It go like, "We know what you're, you you, we still like you as a friend, Ed." She thinks of her, okay, but her mood doesn't change, cause what? Cause apparently she can't play it, so what's the point? Yeah, because it makes her feel miserable, cause she doesn't have the talent of the video, your video phone. Yeah, you you see a problem here? I don't, I don't understand. How having a lack of a talent would make you feel that way? That's just because I'm I'm morally in distress all the time, but... <laughs> you know, for children, for right? For children! But, okay. So, Yingrid... Oh, Yingrid. I, I, my notes are all sloppy here. She uh, tells her, hey... Or pretty much goes like, ask her to watch her Yovita phone. That that word's gonna. Get, ha, I'm gonna guarantee you half the time I'm saying this, I'm saying video phone. But it's Yovita phone. Yes. And <laughs> she plays a few notes on it, and then immediately goes, "No, I can't do this because my friends are gonna get upset or something." 
And the ponies realize they were wrong to make Pinky to stop doing something if she she that she enjoys. Mm-hmm. And then conf- and then tell her, you know what, fine. Do it. Go ahead. If, it, if you get enjoyment from it, fine. That's good. You should have told this to us before. But that's okay. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So she starts playing it again and And then she don't she don't play it, but the yaks are Okay, that's a moral support I've never seen. The yaks are going like, yes, keep going! Keep playing! Whoa! Two thumbs up! Four fingers! You don't even have fingers. You don't have wings. <laughs> and apparently from playing the vidophone Yo Vidophone Her color comes back, she's happy. And she puts on a concert, right? Yes, and they're all happy. Yeah, friendship is magic. Yigrid comes and gives us the moral ending going, you know, if as long as you're if it makes you happy, any amount of playing is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yes. And we end, end on a high note. Okay. Okay. This whole can be, thing can be avoided if Pinky would speak her mind. Which she does nothing. She accepts the fact that she's terrible at the video f- v- yo video phone and just stays in this depressive fuck. Why? This is out of... Just out of character for it's, everyone. It's just... Not, not the others. They're telling her you're not good at it. But, but you shouldn't be telling them, hey, stop playing it. Do you think that's part of the problem? That's part of the problem. You you mess up the ending with the beginning. Because at that, the they tell her, stop. You really... Sh- you really need to stop playing it because you're not good at it. Which is a a kind of a dick move. Yeah, but but it, honesty is the best kind of policy as we have seen with Info Jack. But mm. in the next in the right mind, Pinky should have been able to go, you know, I get it, but and they told her flat out, we didn't even get through half the episode and before they just started saying, okay, you're kind of bad at this, so could you please stop it? And she don't even go like, okay, I I get it, but if I keep practicing, that could have been the thing. It's like she keeps playing and she stinks at it, mm-hmm. and then her friends could have kept trying to stop her, and then she ended up being able to play like a, like a grand wizard. Now, do you remember the episode that I mentioned with Twilight and Celestia? How, the one where she can't yeah, act? Yes. Yeah. That one was built a lot better structure, a lot better. Twilight being brutally honest and them making out were closer together. You know what I mean? Yeah. They stretched the Pinkie Pie episode out way too long. You know what well, I mean? And they made a, counter, a counterintuitive note. In the, in the, I'm assuming in the other episodes, just going like, sometimes you just have to realize you're not good at something, but you've still got other yeah redeeming qualities. And, and the other thing is, she didn't say anything because she didn't want to hurt Celestia's feelings. In this one, it's just they don't pack a punch. They just let it. They just let it fly. No, but yeah, but in this one, it's just okay. But I don't think Pinky would have done that. But again, that's writing. Mm-hmm. As we go further into the episode, I'm going like, okay, just tell them you're, you don't, just tell them. And she does it. And she does it in the entire episode. She never says a thing. She doesn't. The episode would have worked. I I don't think she says any, any, anything pertinent to 
Uh, I wish I could keep playing it, but... Yeah. It would have worked a lot better if she would have been able to really tell them what she was... Or even get to the point where she's all gray, and then finally goes like, Look, we're going to have a talk here. Okay. I know I'm not good at it. But at least give me a chance to keep trying... Practice. It could have been an easy practice makes perfect episode. Yes, but it wasn't. They had to go down the route of don't let criticism keep you from doing what you like, which isn't a bad moral. Which is, it's not a bad moral, but you should also be able to understand what criticism is. What their criticism was is that it wasn't good, and I've always been about hey, okay, but why? Why isn't it good? And that is a problem today that the entire, like, any world faces, especially in the artist world, mm -hmm. because no one even... Tries to... No, no, it just, it's more, I don't like it. Why? I just don't like it. They give no reason. And this was a good episode to say that, going, sometimes they don't give a reason. The, more, the thing they're trying to go for is show, don't tell. But telling us is going to give us a lot more information than showing us whatever would. You know what I mean? Yes. I just... A closing statement, it's just... Episode was okay. I honestly enjoy... I tell everyone I enjoy the episodes, but that doesn't stop me from looking at it and going, well, here's the problem here and here's the problem there. Yeah. This episode's okay. It's just... It could have worked a little bit better. It could if, it could have been a great practice makes perfect episode. Don't let others what th tell you what you think, and don't let criticism get you down. If she would have gone like, okay, I'll keep trying then. But that's not what happened. I decided to pull. Oh, she's depressed. We got to make everything so sad. And then at the end, oh, now just we're Just give happy. us Pink Amina. This is what that episode was. Yeah, Don't it was sugarcoat it. It fan was just... Pandering. It was just fan pandering. I'm, I'm a, I'll defend it to my grave. That's all it was. They just wanted to see more Pink Amina. And that's what we got. But it was one of the worst episodes. Not was, one of the worst. It was just a bad episode. Yeah. So, I have been Kevin DeVarney fan. I want me Pony. We got a, we got a subscribe button. We yeah. got that like button. Hit them both. There's a bell notification. And if you want to see more Brony talk, leave your thoughts in the comments. I have a plan for next time. Goodbye, guys.